as part of living a supernatural life, it's to walk the walk of faith. And when we look at the life of Abraham, we see that uh, he is actually an example for us to walk the walk of faith. So we've been looking at Romans chapter 4, and we continue with that. We look at Romans chapter 4 and verse 19, and it talks about Abraham, and it says that Abraham, uh, not being weak in faith, he did not consider his own body already dead, and the deadness of Sarah's womb, verse 20 says, he did not waver at the promise of God through unbelief, but was strengthened in faith, giving glory to God, and being fully convinced that what he had promised, he was also able to perform. So we have some lessons here as believers, as those who, who desire to walk a supernatural walk, who desire to live a supernatural life, we have some lessons here that we can learn and put to practice. And the first thing is this, what we see in Abraham's life is that Abraham did not waver at the promise of God. Uh, in the book of James, we see that when we ask God something, you know, he, he is faithful to fulfill that. But then we need to ask in faith. We cannot waver at the promise of God, which means there needs to be a line that is drawn in the sand, that we need to come to a place of saying, yes, this is true and I believe it. This is God's word and that's what it is. So we, come to, we need to come to a place of settling in our spirit that we will take God's word as it is. Uh, when we waver at the promise of God, it leads to unbelief. And um, when, when we live a life of unbelief, uh, anything that is not of faith is actually sin, which means that it can lead us to a place of actually living a life that is uh, disobedient to uh, the word of God. So uh, first thing that we, we, we stay strong, we don't waver at the promise of God. And the second thing we see here is that Abraham was strengthened in faith and he gave God glory. It says here that he was strengthened in faith, giving glory to God. So when we give God glory, which means when we praise him, when we worship him, when we pray, when we give thanks to him, we are actually strengthened in faith. So when we see impossible situations, when we see dead-end situations, one of the ways to be strong, being, becoming strong in faith is to give thanks to God. We look at the word of God and we say, God, I thank you that you promised this. Uh, we look at, uh, the, we look at the, the seriousness of the situation, but we go back to the promise of God and say, God, I thank you that this is what you said. This is who you are. And we give thanks to God. We worship God. We sing his praise. And we come to a place of strong uh, faith. So uh, Abraham was strengthened in faith. And the third thing we see is that uh, we, what we see in verse 21 being fully convinced that he had promised he was also able to perform. So Abraham came to a place of being fully convinced that God had promised and that he'll come to a, and he will come through and uh, his faith was in God who is all powerful to fulfill what he promised. So his, 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 his focus was on God. His faith was on God. His faith was not in his ability to uh, to see things being performed, but his faith was on God's ability to bring things to fulfillment. And that's the thing. You know, he couldn't understand everything. He, he, I'm sure he had questions, but he came to a place of, uh, of saying that, God, you know, I trust in you. I know that you are able to fulfill what you promised. So we might have questions, you know, how can God do this? We might have, uh, we might have more questions than answers, but if we can stay unwavering at the promise of God, if we can be strengthened in faith, giving God the glory and come to a place of being convinced fully that what he had promised, he will bring to pass, then we would be walking in the steps of Abraham. We would be walking in the faith of Abraham and we would be living a life that's supernatural. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for the lessons that we learn from Abraham that he was strong in faith, that he did not waver at your promise, and he came to a place of being fully convinced that what you have promised, you will bring to pass. And Lord, I pray that each one of us um, will come to that place of being strong in faith. We pray that our life will be consistently, Lord, um, living, focused on you and your word and your promises. We give you the praise, we give you the glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.